Now to the Gulf part of West Asia, back from the COVID hiatus, Hajj pilgrimage has just ended. Over 2 million pilgrims, devout Muslims from across the world, visited Mecca and Saudi Arabia for the pilgrimage. Now the new twist is, Iranians and Syrians were among these pilgrims. We tell you more. Musiyad al-Sufi has spent years waiting for an opportunity to make the holy Islamic pilgrimage. For him, it was not financial or physical constraints, but a proxy war between third parties that left Musiyad and many such Yemenis bereft of the opportunity. A Saudi-led military coalition has been controlling Yemen's airspace since 2014. It came under them after the Iran-aligned Houthi movement took over Sana'a and ousted the Yemeni government back in 2014. Recently, Yemen Airways reached an understanding with Saudi Arabia. They were allowed to operate four flights during the Hajj season from Houthi-controlled Sana'a to Jeddah, which is the airport nearest to the holy city of Mecca. When Sana'a Airport reopened, we felt like we were part of the world. All people across the world need and benefit from such a means of air travel. We had been deprived of it for several years. We feel relieved and praise be to Allah always. In March this year, the unprecedented happened. China brokered truce between regional force Saudi Arabia and Iran. If a landmark reconciliation between Saudi Arabia and Iran has eased tension in the Gulf, clouds have also lifted at the Hajj pilgrimage, where Iranian visitors finally feel welcomed again. Seven years of enmity between the Sunni and Shia powers had made for a cool reception for the Iranian pilgrimage. <laughs> Iranian pilgrims who previously performed the Hajj used to tell us the situation was very difficult, especially when there was pressure from Saudi Arabia on Iran. But this year, it's good. Even Iranians living in our home country are talking about normalization of the two countries and the behavior of the Saudis. We behave ethically. They won't hurt us and we won't hurt them. From Saudi Iran to Yemen talks and thawing enmity with Syria, the unimagined took the region by storm. Riyadh also ended tensions with Damascus this year. It was a big win for the Syrian President Bashar al-Assad to return to the Arab fold. Reports say that Syrians will also be allowed to attend Hajj from next year. This after being barred from the pilgrimage for over a decade. Officials say there will be no Hajj pilgrimage for Syrians this year as relations have just been restored and the arrangements need time and coordination. While most Syrians will attend the Hajj next year, some of them who were wounded in the civil war were given special tickets and entry for the pilgrimage. For the second consecutive year, Prince Abdulaziz, the son of the late king, Fahad bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, has sponsored about 500 Syrian pilgrims injured in the war. I was injured in 2015 during an airstrike and had both my legs amputated. Praise be to God, I got the Hajj visa, something I never dreamt of receiving. Praise be to God, he blessed me with it. And today I'm at Mount Arafat. This year's Hajj has ended. It is one of the five pillars of Islam. Muslims are obligated to undertake it at least once in their lifetime. That is, if they have the means.